Hi. So tonight I decided to read another Easter story. And I've already uploaded an Easter story called The Berenstain Bears and the Real Easter Eggs, which kind of gives us the idea that Easter is a little bit more than Easter bags or Easter baskets filled with candy um, and the Easter egg hunts and, you know, the goodies that are associated with Easter, even though we love them and even though they're, they're fun, um, Easter is a little bit more than that. So I decided to do another Berenstain Bears story. And this is from the Berenstain Bears Living Lights Faith Story series. And it's a story of the very first Easter. Um, and it's told via the Berenstain Bears, which I think is really a fun way to um, introduce or reintroduce the Easter story to young children. It takes me back to my uh, Sunday school teaching days where I always found it fun to introduce little ones uh, or medium-sized ones, even big kids, um, to biblical stories, but in a easy to understand manner, if that makes any sense. So without any further ado, I am going to read the very first Easter, a Berenstain Bears um, Living Lights faith story by Jan and Mike Berenstain. Mike Berenstain happened to be the son of Stan and Jan Berenstain, the creators of the Berenstain Bears. And our story begins. The Berenstain Bear cubs love Bible stories, and Papa Bear loves reading them to his cubs. Time to settle down for the night, cubs. It's Easter Sunday tomorrow, says Papa. Are you going to read us a bedtime story before we go to bed, Papa? Asks sister. Honey claps. Please, Papa. Of course I will read to you. Do you have a story picked out, brother? Brother thinks a moment. How about another story from our storybook Bible? Is there one about the very first Easter? Papa opens the storybook Bible and smiles. Yes. There is. Let's begin. Long ago, Jesus lived in the Holy Land, teaching about God and what God wants for his people. One day, Jesus and his disciples went to the holy city of Jerusalem. The people of Jerusalem greeted him with joy. They shouted, Hosanna! Hosanna! Which means, save us! They believed Jesus was the new king of Israel. And if you remember, I just recently uploaded this story, The Donkey No One Could Ride, which is a beautiful story about Palm Sunday, Jesus's triumphant ride into Jerusalem. The leaders in Jerusalem grew worried. They did not like it when the people called Jesus a king. There already was a ruler of the land. They thought Jesus was causing a lot of trouble. They did not understand that the kingdom of Jesus was really the kingdom of heaven. So there's Berenstain Bear Jesus riding in on his donkey into Jerusalem to shouts of Hosanna. It was the feast of Passover while Jesus was in Jerusalem. That is the holy holiday when Je Jewish people remember when Moses led God's people out of Egypt. Jesus and his followers had a special Passover supper together, just like everyone else. And we call that the Last Supper. During the supper, Jesus told his followers how much he loved them. Then he broke a loaf of bread in two. He poured out wine to share with them. This bread and wine is like my body and my blood, he said. Eating and drinking these will remind you of me. Jesus told them that he would be leaving them soon, but they did not really understand what Jesus was talking about. Later that night, Jesus went into the garden to pray. Some of his disciples were with him, but soon they fell asleep. Judas was one of the disciples of Jesus, but he had turned against him. He had decided to help the angry city leaders put Jesus in prison. He led some soldiers to the garden to take Jesus away, 
the disciples were afraid and they ran away. The leaders of Jerusalem decided to hand Jesus over to their ruler. He was a Roman named Pilate. Pilate decided to show everyone that Jesus was not really a king. After asking Jesus many questions, Pilate ordered Jesus to be put to death by hanging him on a wooden cross. And I know that sounds really harsh, but that is all part of the beautiful Easter story that unfolds. The day Jesus died was a terrible, terrible day. The sky grew dark and a great wind arose. Many people were afraid. Some people prayed. Other people ran away and hid. After Jesus died, some of his friends carried his body away and laid it in a tomb. The tomb was closed with a great stone. Roman soldiers guarded the tomb. Three days after Jesus died, the earth shook. An angel came and rolled the stone away from the entrance of the tomb, then sat on the stone. When the soldiers saw the angel, they fell down in fear and they ran. Do you see the tomb was open, the stone was rolled away and there sits the angel. That angel told three women who were visiting Jesus's tomb that Jesus had risen. They ran to tell all of Jesus's friends the news, but Jesus himself came to visit them in the room where they were staying. The disciples were amazed Jesus was alive and they fell down and worshiped him. Peace be with you, Jesus said. Jesus then told them to go and spread the good news about what had happened. And then 40 days later, Jesus rose up to heaven to be with God, his father. The followers of Jesus rejoiced and praised God. Papa closes the Bible. The cubs are fast asleep. Good night, Papa whispers, and God bless. And he carries honey off to bed. So that is our story of the very first Easter about which started on Palm Sunday. Um, and like I said, um, a good Palm Sunday story, if you would like to read it or hear it, is um, The Donkey That No One Could Ride. Um, a great story about the little colt of a donkey that Jesus asked for um, to ride him into the city of Jerusalem, which started um, Holy Week. We have Monday Thursday, where Jesus shared the Last Supper with his disciples, uh, which then leads into Good Friday, where Jesus was crucified. Uh, on the cross. He was, he died and he was buried in the tomb. And then three days later, so we have Friday, Saturday, and on the third day, Sunday, uh, Jesus rose and came out of the tomb and we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus um, on Easter Sunday. And that is what Easter is about. Easter is about um, The, the resurrection of Jesus, Jesus dying for our sins so that we are always forgiven in his eyes. And uh, I really hope that you enjoyed the story of the true um, very first Easter. And if you would like a lighter Easter story, then I suggest you also check out the video upload of the Berenstain Bears and the Real Easter Eggs, which is a very cute story about brother and sister and their excitement over um, the town's egg hunt for Easter. So on that note, I am going to say sleep well, peaceful slumbers, happy Easter to you and your family, and may you be blessed abundantly um, in this beautiful Easter season.